it just really happen? Why didn't you get <laughs> But no. Okay, uh, come get us. It, it. That is a buck and a hunt that I will truly never, ever forget. Here, why don't you go first because you're going to start Welcome talking. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week we're back at home. Back home trying to cure SWD and we don't want to. That's right. White tailed deer. White tail deer. This week's lucky logo is Hoyt. Hoyt, baby. Hit them where it hoits and they're get down forever. It's pretty exciting. I'm going to give you guys a tip. It's not the Hoyt on our limb graphics, just so you know. Shh, quiet. I'm really excited about this week's show. Oh, are you really? This, I'm this glad to hear that. Is this because you don't have anything on here? No, I'm kidding. It's because it's redemption for me. You know, North you had, Dakota you had, had a rough, rough fall. I did. In North Dakota, I had a hard time. Thought I was messing up my shoulder. It's my neck. But anyways, redemption three I've weeks had a later. I've pain in my neck for like almost 20 years. Really? We can fix that. Let's just get hunting, shall we? SWD, Illinois. On the way in, we checked the trail camera and found a really good buck, a photo of a beautiful buck. He's down there in the bottom, and he's not up on the food plot. We're going to keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. Today's October 31st. It's Halloween, and we're hoping that the big buck comes by. The plan is that he's going to come in, he's going to want to clean up that scrape because it's kind of dirty. It's got leaves on it, so he's going to want to freshen it up. That's the plan. I don't know if you read the script, but that's what we're hoping for. It's we got out here a little earlier than normal, which is a good thing. We've got great cloud cover, overcast day. It's cool. And it feels kind of good. The thing is, is that we're seeing deer this first night and they're all southeast of us and they're not coming up to the food plot yet. So, I don't know what Ralph is doing, but this is what I'm doing. I'm going to sit here and see what happens. Didn't get any deer the night before and the next morning Dan and I went and sat that same stand, the same food plot, realizing that as we're sitting there, we're seeing deer down in the bottom, right where the camera was at and everything, we're going to move the stand. I let Ralph know and away we go. Let's move the stand. <laughs> this is where we were sitting this morning on this map. How do you if, have that if on we your go, phone? if we go, what? I don't have that on my phone. That's the Cabela's recon. Well, why didn't you get me that? Shh. Oh, Shh. look at if. See right here. This is the field to the north. Why didn't you get me this on my phone? Because I don't know how to get it. You didn't ask. I don't have to ask. You need to have that. <laughs> but look at. This I shouldn't look. <laughs> me off. <laughs> That's so clear. I know, it's really clear. And on your droid, it would be even bigger. <laughs> he really is upset with me. 
we're standing there on the bottom looking at where we're going to move the stand at. We're trying to figure out the winds. Beautiful trees that we want to put our mirror steps in, but we can't because of the way the winds are blowing this year. We're pushing it. We found a tree and there's a trail right underneath it. And we're going to be right in the middle of it and hopefully it will work. We moved the stand, got the stand put up here after we got down out of the stand this morning, came down, looked around, decided Ralph met us, decided where we needed to set it up, got it set up, and now we're going to sit tight. The sun's going to keep going further, because we know that every time that we've sat in the other stand by the food plot, we always had deer over here in this part. I'll be able to see down the trail there. If anything's coming out from that direction that we saw deer coming out of before, our wind's in our favor, and hopefully, Something will come by to shoot tonight. We got up on that tree stand that afternoon after we moved it there. And I can't believe my eyes, that buck that we have on camera comes walking straight down that trail right to our tree. Honestly, the photos did not do this buck justice. As he was coming in, my heart started pounding, and I know it's the buck that we have on camera, but it doesn't do him any justice. He's walking straight at us. I draw my bow back when he's not looking, and he stops just head on have no shot. I'm not going to take it. I'm not taking that shot. I'm just waiting. I am waiting and waiting. I have my, my, my true glow pin, that fiber optic is sitting right here on his chest and all I need him to do is just turn and he's mine. Oh, Meh. Yeah, he had other plans. He jumped, spun and ran off and I looked at Dan and went, did that just really happen? Are you kidding? Wouldn't you know it, the wind starts coming out of the northwest like it's supposed to? Well, guess what? That means we can't hunt that stand. We can't hunt that stand that very next morning. We, sit, we have to go hunt other stands for the next two days. We have northwest winds instead of that southeast wind, and we can't booger them out of there, so we can't hunt that stand. All I want to do is go back to that tree. It's Saturday night. John Boy and I are in the woods, and our wives are together with the uh, Hunting Widow Support Group. We're gonna go kill a big buck tonight. What about a ridge top drops down in the valley on this side? And it's all ag out this way. We've got a food plot in the middle of the timber here that they are just mowing down, and there are a ton. There's like four or five scrapes around this little bitty food plot right now. Scrape under the stand right here, four yards, and there's rubs all through this ridge. We're still a little bit early, but you gotta go when you can go, and it's Sunday night, and we've got free time.
Last spring, last spring I found out I had three family members with cancer and uh, I decided I was going to dedicate my hunting season shooting ping fletchings and when you walk into camp using ping fletchings you're automatically hammered by people. But when you explain them what you're doing and why you're doing it, it makes a difference. It's right here baby. Oh thank you Lord, thank you Lord. Oh, he's right there. Big mature deer, we got trail camera photos of them all year. From uh, velvet all the way through to hardhorn, that last picture from hardhorn looking at us, we decided he's going to be a shooter for us. And if he came by, we'd take him. And uh, he gave us a shot tonight. The carbon element got the bark tonight, the first time ever. And uh, I think she's uh, happy getting a little butt shit. But I know I am. And uh, I finally got to put an arrow through an animal with a pink fletching for the family. Uh, dealing with cancer this year really hard since January. We got three family members. We're actually going to lose my grandfather here soon, um, which is going to be hard. But uh, so I'm shooting paint for the family for cancer and uh, to help support it, guys, because uh, you never know when it's going to hurt you. Finally, November 4th, the wind switches back around southeast like we need. We're back out in that tree. We're waiting. We didn't see him down in the bottom this time, but that's it. I'm leaving my bow out here. This is my stand. I will be here in the morning. Love you. Love Good you. luck. Thank you. Let me know how you do. I'll let you know how I do. Our son RJ was up all night long. He was sicker than a dog, and I just kept making sure he was okay. I, I wanted to sleep in. That alarm went off. I just so wanted just to hit that button and go back to bed. But you know what? That vixen was up in the tree stand, and it's calling my name. <laughs> This morning than it has been. We still have a weird southeast wind, which is good for our tree here, so I'm not complaining at all. I may have to go to the doctor's office with our James up all night sick, so that kind of stinks. But as soon as we get back, we'll be back at it. We're supposed to have southeast winds tonight. Who knows? Maybe we can get him today yet. In the stand, trying to wake up, a little buck comes walking through. He, he came from kind of like our northeast, walking through. I ranged him just to see where he's at on that trail. It was 26 yards. Just a little while later, the big guy shows up, and he's on the hillside south of us, and he's just walking, just taking his sweet time. He has no worries in the world. I'm ranging him, wearing the battery out, like, OK, 70, 60, 54. He's at the scrape where the little buck was earlier that morning. I thought, okay, you're 50 something yards, you need to get closer. And he started to turn, I thought he was gonna walk away, but he hesitated and he turned around and he was right on that same trail that little buck was that more earlier at like 26 yards. When I got the opportunity, I drew my bow back It's a hair low and back, I think it's liver. 
Okay, come get us. We're done. He went across this opening to the south and he stood under a tree. I was grabbing another arrow because I was going to go ahead and shoot again. I'm thinking liver, but I'm going to go down and get my arrow. And like I said, I just texted Miles. She's going to come get us because we want to get out of here. We don't want to over that area. Okay, um, come get us, huh? See? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Got back to the house. Dan, Ralph, and I, we all, Z, we all looked at the footage to, to see what was going on. And oh, he had blood right away. Oh yeah. Hang on. Oh, look, you can. We reviewed the footage when we decided. You know what? We're gonna wait. You know, if he's done, he's done. If he's not, we're not gonna push him. We're gonna wait. Did he hook up? No, he went this way. I think. Track. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Look at him. Oh, honey. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Is he beautiful? We had the plan and it all came together. I had him two nights ago, front straight at me. I had no shot. My he shot. My shot looks. Well, in the video, his shoulder's more forward, so it was a hair back. It probably was liver like we thought. Yeah, baby! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's beautiful. He's a magnificent animal. Look at that. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Dan, thank you, Dan, Dan, the cameraman. <laughs> From the point of seeing him on the camera to actually full draw encounter and not getting a shot off. A few days later, because of the wind, getting a shot at this buck and waiting and having to hold back and then finally getting my hands on that and on, on him was amazing. And to be able to share it with our family and our friends, that is a buck and a hunt that I will truly never, ever forget. Unbelievable. I have to tell you that there are people that would take that shot and regret it afterwards. You know, we sat in the stand after I was full drawn, that buck was right there that afternoon, and I went away and I looked at Dan, I was like, did that just happen? Because, oh my gosh. But I was so, in, I, was, I just wanted him to slowly turn, and he didn't slow, he, he didn't. spun and he took off, and, but redemption, a couple days later. Unbelievable. It was awesome. You know, what a year you had. I mean, you went through some trials and tribulations. We thought it was your shoulder, it ended up being your neck. Yep. And now, all in all, you're working out. We got you getting it stronger, so I, I can't wait. You know, I mean, unbelievable. Hey, this week's lucky logo was Hoyt. Hit him where it Hoyt's, baby, and guess what? Somebody is going to win a brand new Hoyt bow. The ultimate, the ultimate bow to shoot. So, what you need to do is log on to archerschoice.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out the information, and someone's going to win a Hoyt and a whole bunch of other great stuff. Well, this is the 13th show. We're wrapping yeah. it up, and we can't thank all of you enough, because without you, the sponsors, him upstairs, I mean, this wouldn't be possible. And we want to say thank you, and God bless you, and, well, we're going to come back next year, even with some more great adventures. That's right. So thank you for joining us every week, same time, same, same channel, channel, right, right here, here on, on The Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. God bless you.